Queen Elizabeth II has been left deeply disappointed by the way her grandson Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have behaved, it's been revealed. Queen Elizabeth II, 93, is reportedly not impressed with the way Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have acted since marrying in 2018. Behind the scenes, several sources have claimed the monarch has been disappointed with their behavior as representatives of the British monarchy. The most recent blow came after Meghan skipped visiting the Queen's Scottish residence Balmoral over the summer. Instead, the Duchess of Sussex jetted off on a commercial flight to New York to watch her close friend Serena Williams compete in the US Open final. By doing so, she snubbed the Queen's invite to attend the Highland Games. The Mail on Sunday described the move as an outright snub adding that the monarch is hurt and disappointed at a time when she likes to bring her friends and family together. The publication added Her Majesty is already baffled by Meghan and Harry's inability to steer clear of PR calamities. It was widely expected that the Duke and Duchess would take baby Archie to join the senior royals at Balmoral. According to insiders the monarch had been looking forward to a few days of merry chaos with her great-grandchild. However, the Sussexes claimed their four-month-old son was too young to make the trip to the Scottish Highlands. The response came as a shock as just weeks prior to the Highland Games, Meghan and Harry took the young royal to Ibiza and then later to stay at Sir Elton John's luxury villa in the south of France. Their open hostility towards the media has also led to negative views of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In June, the couple excluded both the media and the public from Archie's christening, only issuing a couple of photographs from the event. They also refused to release details of who Archie's godparents are. Meghan later came under fire following the publication of British Vogue's September issue, which she guest edited. The Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer said the couple have risked upsetting traditionalists in the heartland of Middle Britain by publicly supporting Forces for Change, the title chosen by Meghan for the front cover. Mr. Palmer writes in Saturday's Daily Express, last month, nobody at Buckingham Palace could quite explain how the Sussexes championing a feminist website that urged women to bury the patriarchy sat with the monarchy's mission statement of acting as a force for continuity and stability. Meghan's decision to champion liberal-minded women, such as Michelle Obama and New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, as icons in Vogue also risk political controversy. Imagine the outcry if she had chosen Margaret Thatcher, Theresa May, Diane Abbott, or Preeti Patel. Queen Elizabeth II is reportedly hurt and disappointed with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for not visiting her in Balmoral last summer. Instead of spending time at the monarch's vacation home, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex together with their son, Archie, traveled to Nice and Ibiza. Markle also flew to the United States to watch Serena Williams' tennis match. As such, royal experts are convinced that the excuse that the Sussexes were very busy that's why they couldn't visit the Queen was nothing more than that. A source also said that the Queen was looking forward to a few merry days of chaos with her relatives and loved ones including Archie Harris and Mountbatten Windsor. The Sun tried to contact Palace Insiders to get first-hand information on why Prince Harry and Markle didn't go to Balmoral this summer. However, they were unable to get a response. Weeks ago, it was reported that Prince Harry and Markle have been welcomed into Balmoral by the Queen especially since it will be the first time for Archie to visit his great-grandparents there. Reports also swirled that the Queen wanted to be very accommodating with the Sussexes that's why she refused to welcome Prince William, Kate Middleton, and their three children into her vacation home. According to Vanity Fair, her Majesty's decision to host the Sussexes just strengthened the rumors that she favors them over the Cambridges. But to everyone's surprise, Prince William and Middleton were previously photographed arriving in Balmoral after their short family vacation. Prince Harry and Markle were never photographed arriving or leaving the castle with their son. There are speculations suggesting that the royal couple actually skipped their vacation with their relatives this year because they are still at odds with Prince William and Middleton. The alleged feud between the royal couple started even before Markle and Prince Harry tied the knot at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle last year. Journalist Quinton Lett said his friend was given advice not to mention the Sussexes when meeting Her Majesty. The Queen does not want to talk about Meghan Markle, according to reports.
Journalist Quinton Lett said his friend was given advice not to mention the Sussexes when meeting Her Majesty. He wrote on Twitter on Friday, friend of an acquaintance was about to go riding with HMQ Her Majesty the Queen. Was given the firm advice sick. Talk about anything except one subject. Brexit. No, the Sussexes. It was recently reported that Meghan took etiquette lessons including how to handle a cup and saucer before moving to London. The Duchess of Sussex was taught by Edmund Fry, a Brit who runs the Rose Tree Cottage Tea Room in Pasadena, California. Meghan and Harry recently won a planning battle to save their Frogmore Cottage Garden from being ripped up. Having earlier won planning permission from the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead Council to overhaul the cottage's outside area, they had a change of heart. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex ploughed ahead with an alternative design that did not follow the approved scheme. The decision left Harry and Meghan at the whim of council planning officers, who could order them to rip the garden up if they didn't like the plans. Fortunately for the couple, retrospective planning consent was instead awarded by the council.